In CreoView, you can perform measurements. Start off by going to the Markup tab, and over on the right side of the ribbon, you see the different measurement commands. I'm going to do these a little out of order, but let's start with the Summary command. I will click on it, and then you can do a left mouse click on the component in an assembly that you are interested in. Note that we have a measurement toolbar that opens. Here is the actual summary that came up. I'm going to grab it and then move it to where I want it to appear on the screen. And in the summary, you can see the name of the component, the area, the volume, the mass, the CG, and the envelope. And in the measurement summary toolbar, there is a little icon that shows a check mark with a plus that will apply the measurement to the view. In other words, it will remain on the computer screen as you perform other additional measurements. And then later on, I'll show you how you can save this as an annotation set so other people can have access to this. For the next one, I will go to the right side of the ribbon. Let's go to the envelope command, and then I will pick another component with the left mouse button. And there you see the X, Y, and Z lengths of the bounding box for that component. And you can continue selecting other additional parts. Now let me go to mass properties. And for mass properties, it went to the component that was still selected. But if you want to choose a different component, you can do that. Once again, I can grab the measurement and reposition it on the computer screen. And then I can hit the check mark in order to have that appear in the view. The next command, now let's start using the ones that require multiple different picks. I will go to the area command, and with the area command, you can pick a surface and it will show you the area. Let me click, and one thing to note, when you're using these other different measurement tools, you are first going to pick the component in an assembly, and here it gives me the entire area of the component, but then I can pick an individual surface. And at this point, let me expand the measurement toolbar. Here you can see the references. If you want to, you can use the control key to select other additional references. And here we have the results. I will expand that as well, and it shows me the area of that particular surface. If I were to hold down the control key and then pick another additional reference, for example, I'll pick this face from that other component, you can see that we have the individual areas of each surface that I picked plus the total area. And you can use the little eraser icon if you want to clear the list of references and then pick something else like, for example, left click on the component and then left click on that surface in order to get the area of the surface. For the next one, let's take a look at measuring the diameter. And by the way, if I go to the diameter icon in here, well, it'll assume that I wanted the diameter of the reference that was still selected. It's a flat planar surface. It doesn't make any sense, and so that's why we have the red error in here. Let's use the erase icon in order to remove that as the reference for the diameter measurement. And I want to pick a surface, a cylindrical surface. Let me click on the component first. And as I move over here, right now it is giving me a bunch of edges as the selection. In the lower right hand corner, you have a filter. By default, it is set to smart. And I can change this to faces so that I can make sure that, hey, I want to make sure that I'm just getting this one particular cylindrical surface that I want to measure the diameter for. And again, if I want to leave that in the view, let me hit the check mark. And that way it becomes a note in the graphics area. All right, for the next one, let's go to an angle measurement. And this one I'll do out of the ribbon. And then to measure an angle, let me grab, first click on the component, then pick on a surface. And then, it tells me not enough references, obviously. Let me use the control key to get this other surface. And there we have the angle measurement listed in there. For the next one, let's do a distance measurement. I'll click on the distance command. And again, it automatically used the references that were selected. Let me use the eraser in order to clear the references. And let's say I want to measure from this face. 
and it has the option to use as a plane if necessary. And then let me use the control key to pick on this component and grab this face. And now I have that distance measurement. Let me use the check mark if I want to keep that. And then let me close out of here for a moment. And I can grab the note and then move where it appears in the graphics area. And for the last one, let me go to the length command. And I just want to show that once again. Let me left click on the component. I can grab this edge. And if you want to chain a bunch of different references, you will use the control key. So I can grab this other edge in here and then grab this one. Oops, missed it. There we go. I just selected a bunch of different edges. You can see the individual lengths and the total length inside of there. So let's close out of the measurement dialog box. Here it says, hey, wait a second. The previewed measurements have not been applied to the view and you can either discard it or retain it. I'm going to go with the default of discarding it because I don't want that retained as a note on the screen. And if you want to save this as an annotation set, you can go to the file drop down menu. Here is the save annotation set and I can choose the icon and then you can give it a name and you can change the other metadata associated with it. And then these different measurements would be available on the content tab of the object in Windchill if someone else wanted to reference this. But I'm not going to save it. Let's cancel out of there. The very last thing that I want to show you, let me select one of my components and then I can right click and then from the pop up menu, open this in a new view. If I was performing one of those actions like a distance measurement, well, even though I just have a part open, it's still a left click in order to pick the component. And then you can left click on the entity that you want. And then let me go to the other different reference I want using the control key and that way I am selecting a distance. So again, for some of these different ones, left click on the component and then left click on the entity that you want to measure.